So, unfortunately, I have to bring some sad news to you guys about someone who's very important to the Atheist Republic community who passed away recently. Um, Atheist Republic mourns the loss of confused heathen. Atheist Republic is saddened to learn of the recent passing of an important member within the International Atheist Republic community. The Egyptian ex-Muslim that was known to us as Confused Heathen, or also known as Confused Hamlet, or Labby, to close friends. Confused Heathen was an active member of the Atheist Republic YouTube live chats and Discord community, and became the founding creator and moderator of the Atheist Republic subreddit. Confused he then also founded the subreddit X Egypt, which he created to bolster community and connections for ex-Muslims and ex-Christians in its sister, sis sister Discord community. The X Egypt community has already grown to nearly 10,000 members within the span of less than two years. No small feat. Many friends and supporters shared their memories of Confused Heathen in reaction to the heart-wrenching news. One Reddit user stated, Heathen was the reason that thousands of Egyptian ex-Muslims found a place to call home and the reason so many deep friendships and relationships formed and hundreds of people owe her for changing their lives. And um, so I wrote this for our website and I included a lot of dedications that people from the Atheist Republic community and the ex-Egypt community shared about Confused Heathen. And... Um, just to clarify something like uh confused heathen as most of us knew him used like different pronouns for different communities so sometimes people say her or sometimes people say he it, we're talking about the same person um so i wanted to share what i wrote about heathen because i worked with them and um I said, if there's one thing I knew, I know about heathen, I know that he des deeply wanted happier and freer lives for his fellow Egyptian atheists. He was always looking for a way to do more, dissatisfied with the restrictions of online communities, yet faced with the stark danger and illegality of on the ground organizing in Egypt. He was young and dedicated more time and energy to others than people several decades his senior. His accomplishments and interventions on behalf of others are a reminder that the faceless activists often make a bigger difference in individual lives than the most celebrated figures. And I don't know, that's something that I think about a lot in the work that I do because there are so many people at Atheist Republic and so many different organizations that I work at or work with that do really difficult work, really difficult work to provide community to people, connection to people, or the extremely, I mean, taxing work of actually saving lives, like helping people get refugee status and stuff, helping them escape countries. And these are people whose names you will never know, faces you won't know. They don't get celebrated. They don't get recognition. But they're doing work that is so vital and can literally make a life or death difference to the people involved. But they're never going to be held up on a stage and given award, given awards like Richard Dawkins, right? But the impact that they make is no less than that of our most celebrated figures. Sometimes I think it's more because to those lives that they saved, that, that, that they positively impacted, it was so direct and so poignant. And um, I wanted to read something that um, a few other people wrote because I thought it was so sweet. So um, our friend Vince, our good friend Vince, he wrote, it is nothing short of impressive to see what heathen has done for ex-Muslims in such a short time. To say I was impressed with their work would be a severe understatement. I first met heathen a little over two years ago. Heathen was part of a small coalition that compromised some of the first members of the Atheist Republic Discord server. We would often be talking with each other whilst playing some online games. We all got to know each other fairly well and bonded over similar values and beliefs. 
We didn't speak to heathen as much as we used to once he started up ex-Egypt and strove to make a better world for ex-Muslims, but we always kept in touch. It's absolutely heartbreaking to hear about what happened. Heathen deserved so much better. He was immensely inspiring and caring to people that made the lives of many people better off by creating a community they felt comfortable in. Heathen may be physically gone, but his spirit lives on in the grand work they've done and in the lives they've inspired. Wherever you are, I hope you found peace. And, um, yeah, I think, um, to a lot of people that knew Confused Heathen, we just, want, I don't know, there's a lot of people that are really struggling out there, you know? I'm going to put a link. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. There's a lot more statements mm -hmm. here. So I'm going to put a link uh, to this article. All of our articles are in the description, but I'm just going to put this here. In, ca in case anybody wants to read more people uh, mm -hmm. that wrote about it. Yeah. And at the bottom of the article, there's a link to where our Atheist Republic members actually created mm -hmm. um, a what do you call it? basically like an immemorium page where mm -hmm. other people can continue to add dedications and where you can read a lot more dedications um yeah okay so, oh yeah there's a lot up there people sharing Maybe. memories and funny jokes and why he mattered oh. to them this is beautiful some of them are in arabic mm-hmm Oh, Vince is here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, this is very beautiful. Oh, Afshin posted mm -hmm. his conversation. No. Yeah, they're posting screenshots of their inside jokes and stuff. That's cute. Yeah. So I know they it's really hard when. I want a page like this if something happens to me one day. Armin, you can't talk about that. I'm going to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sheikh is saying that kid deserves a better life. Yeah. And we don't even know. They really like, we don't even know. Like, uh, did they die in complete loneliness without anybody, anybody knowing who they are, what their name is, what they look like? Like maybe when they died, like there was nobody that knew anything that this person has done, all the activities that they were involved in. I know that so, Confused Heathen had a few like close in, closer in-person friends because that's how we were actually able to find out yeah. what happened, you know, and they could bring that information back to us. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, um, you know, I don't know a lot about what was going on in their situation, but I know that there was a lot of stuff that was really dangerous for them and they couldn't be themselves. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry that this was the last news, guys. All right. I don't know how to end this. Do you want to say something? Mm. We're going to have less of us, less depressing news, hopefully next week. Hopefully one of these days we'll start a news segment by saying one day, one day we will start our live stream saying Iran is free. Mm. That would be nice. That would be a nice. Mm. gift to all these anonymous activists right to a lot of these anonymous activists right yeah. do you think we will when they have us open our stream like that iran is free iran no. has, yeah yeah well hopefully like well okay here to better days today is with better news okay good is that a good way to end the stream yeah guys i don't know what else to say this is hard uh, you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free.
Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.